I'm starting with a very basic editing, very basic green screen footage editing. What do we need to achieve? Even though we have an almost homogeneous green screen background from the artist, we will have to do our own homogeneous green screen on this footage. Why is that? To avoid any flickering, unwanted flickering surprises on the final project. So even though his footage is clear, we will still have to clear it more. We open a new project with this format. We choose a green color picture as a basic video layer, as a background. There we have it. We have to enlarge to fit the whole screen by using the cropping, pan and zoom. From the beginning till the end, this is important. Now we go to the second layer, the second video layer, which import from the media and is the video that the artist sent to us. The video we have, the footage we have to work on. We choose that one. We have to crop the frame because we don't need those uh, soft boxes in the frame. We enlarge the frame to fit the screen from up to down and we slide it to the left because the character makes an entrance from the left. We extend the length of the photo of the base, of the basic video layer, which is the green color, so we can proceed to apply the chroma key anytime. For that purpose, we click on the second video layer, some tools will show up and we click on chroma key. We enable the chroma key and then we customize the chroma key on this specific footage. Sometimes, if the footage is not very clear, we may require to do it a few times, save a project and then come back. In this case, the lights were quite okay. The original footage had quite a clear green color in the background. Check and recheck is required almost frame by frame until we get what we want. Come on, give us a smile. And we save the project. We export the project. So now we have a new video with a green screen, which is homogeneous. Now we can actually, this is the moment when we apply the green screen footage on the background chosen. So now we choose the background first as a basic video. This looks like a kitchen, a stock footage taken from internet. And we choose as a second video layer the green screen we just worked on. The totally homogeneous green color. And again we customize this green screen until we don't see green in the bud anymore and no weird unwanted flickering. We trim the unnecessary video footages either on the basic layer, 
the basic background either on the green screen footage. We adjust perspectives, distances, usually it's by approximation. If you have a good eye, For this specific footage, I didn't walk further in because of the lack of space in the green room. Okay, we like that, so we export this project also. I basically use those two apps. KineMaster for the video editing. If I don't want anything specific, I mean nothing like weird stuff, just the green screen editing on top of uh, basic uh, static stock footage and then for the coloring, the final coloring, I go to the 3D LUT. So now we go to coloring. We use the 3D LUT mobile, we open the gallery and we choose the video from the export folder we just finished previously. We go to LUT app, we choose whatever we want. So in this case, I've been, I'm gonna choose a warm filter. A brown one. So you have categories and subcategories and subcategories. You just play around and you choose whatever you like. I usually choose, I use a lot this one. I like it for some reason, I don't know. It's up to everyone's taste. And then I go to basic to customize that filter, to make it more brownish, brighter, darker, just play around with it. This is just spend time searching the color, searching the balancing, the saturation, the thin, the black, the contrast, the filter you want to use. Make it up to your taste. Just, it may take very short if you know exactly where you have to go, or it may take very long if you are not sure of what you want or how it's better. Right. So now we are checking because we seem to find, to have found what we want, what we like. We are just having a last check before saving the project. So we give it OK save it to the gallery, a new video. So we check, we play it once to make sure that this is the color we, we want, a bit retro, a bit vintage give the feeling that it's a bit older. Okay, we like it, right? Of course we do. So we get out from this app, we exit this app, we go back to KineMaster. We go back, we go back, and we open a new project for one single purpose to go and activate, enable the vignette. Ah, that's the final touch. Now it's a very sad picture. It's a bit scary, vintage, old, mysterious, this kind of look. 
and our character looks a bit in the picture. Right? Looks like he's in the kitchen. And we export the project. We like it, we export it. And we play it. It seems to be raining outside. It looks like the sound is the sound of the rain. So we leave it like that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have been useful. And see you next time. Bye-bye.